Hi, video number 21, the Shenhua 900 a metal working lathe and this is part of the Real True Educational Not Fake News series. Now I'm not out in the studio, I'm, I'm, I'm in the workshop at the moment and uh, as I said this is video number 21 and this is technical. If you're not interested in this please don't look at it because um, camera can you keep it up to, you're on me because um, uh, uh, this might not be of interest to many people who watch my videos. This is for a specific uh, machine tool which I believe uh, are, not, are not being used because of the problem with uh, two problems I'm going to identify. But just to go through the lathe itself first. Uh, it's, a, it's a three foot between centres lathe and it's ideal size in between the hobby lathe and, uh, and the big lathes. It's ideal. And uh, the bed is good, it's made in uh, Taiwan, not China, not that that might matter, but it's made in Taiwan and it's good solid cast iron uh, materials throughout. Not a very strong lathe, not very powerful. Now the, the quick change gears are here, the, the wheel, and then it has a quick change gearbox and uh, it has back gear and all of those things that you find on the more expensive lathe. Uh, I bought this in 1983, I think it was, and um, it 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 was a lot cheaper than a normal lathe, and it has served me very well. But there's just two things wrong with it that I want to explain. Uh, the other thing about it too is it has um, it has the. The, the, the switch forward and reverse that travels with the saddle. So no matter where you are, you have the forward and reverse switch. You have the uh, 8 teeth per inch lead screw. And then you have the power to the cross speed and to the uh, up and down, longitude, longitude, long ways and across ways. So uh, you have both of those in it. So you have all those features. That's great. It comes with, this came with a three jaw chuck, a good four jaw chuck and uh, fixed and traveling steadies and it's on a good stand and everything so i think at the time i paid something like about 1100 pounds uh, sterling english money which was more or less the same as irish money at that time and it served me very well and it, it, it it's good for i have used it on the farm a lot and of course it got a good deal of hard work so you have a pin like this for maybe of a, of, a, of a tractor and it's hard and stuff and you're you're cutting it and giving it quite a lot of hassle and still despite the fact that the frame is not that powerful it has stood me very well and um, you also have um, also use it even for putting a handle in a sweeping brush right up to and to other stuff but uh, for for milling and for um, for other work so we have for example there's a nice little steward S50. I bought that as a casting and um, I uh, machined it over a period and got it going and it's that's a long time ago. The boiler for that is uh, actually corroded. You know, that'll tell you how long the time fairly passes. Um, the thing about a lathe or any of this good equipment, if you have one and you're that way inclined, you, you'll never be bored. You'll never be bored. You'll always be thinking of something to do. And one of the things I make on this a lot is little generators and motors and models of electrical components. But even for fixing things around the house, it might only be a bit of plastic. And don't forget, you can, you can machine plastic on it, like this little, something like that. You can machine plastic as well as, 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 as metals, wood, uh, and, and uh, brass, aluminium, whatever. So um, basically for around the farm, for ordinary work, and of course the thing we like most is, is the hobby. And any woman that has a man uh, who is uh, into this stuff, if he's out in the garage, you know where he is, let him at it. Uh, it's a way of getting on your own. It's a way of thinking things through. So enough said. They're a good lid. There are, I have no doubt there's a lot of these lying around that can't be made work for the reasons I'm going to come, and that come to. The two problems is getting off the chuck and... The solenoids in the forward reverse burn out and you cannot get parts. <coughs> I have searched the world. The solenoids are 110 volt and there's a transformer and it constantly burns out. No matter what they say, it will burn out. And um, so I'm not, the first thing I'm going to deal with now, but when I come back, we'll, 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 we'll break the video and we'll have, we'll have an A and B series. We're going to deal with how you get that chuck off and on now it's a long time since i had it off it's easily um easily three months and i've done a lot of work because you'll usually be using the three jaw chuck 
But sometimes then you'll want to use your, 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 your face plate. So here we are, a good decent face plate, really good decent face, face plate. And uh, you'll want to be using your, your, um, your force wheel chuck. There it is. What a good one. It's a Chen Wao. I don't know, is that Chinese? But a great bit of kit. And you'll want to be getting that off. And of course, when you go to get it off, you'll immediately go to lock the bull wheel on the, on the back gear and you'll break the teeth. And in fact, on this one, it's already happened a bit, and I wish I had to make me part, me parts first. There's the, there's the, the, the spidget there, the little bolt that bolts the bull wheel to the, to the belt wheel, and that'll break, and you'll have all kinds of trouble. People put pieces of steel in here to wedge it. You could danger of breaking this. It's a disaster. It's a complete fault. So now, in the next uh, um, video, come back now, and we're going to show you how I dealt with this. And the great thing about this is. You know this works because you're going to see it working now. It's not a question of all oh, that might work or that mightn't. I want this video to be explanatory to get over the problem and get likes on my YouTube channel and comments that this solves the problem. And you might be able to find one of these lids and buy it. And when you know that's all that's wrong with it, you're away. You can go by this to get it done. So, put, no, no, no. no. Around here, uh, 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 so that's sorry. What I mean, cameraman here is is, is learning. He he's not just Hollywood standard yet, and I uh, just want to get me face in it before I go. We're coming back now. I hope that's good, and uh, we're going to see how we deal with the problem of getting off the chuck. Okay, thank you very much.